Okay, a box of mass MA uh, rests on a rough surface. Okay, uh, rough surface. So we know that this is a rough surface. Let's um, write down. This is a rough surface. Okay, uh, this is mass A. Uh, inclined at angle theta. So this is the angle theta, right? So it actually should uh, be written here. So it's not over here. Okay, uh, it is connected by a lightweight cord. Okay, there is a cord, a string, so there must be a tension. Uh, passes over the massless and frictionless pulley. So we consider this uh, pulley is frictionless. So, all right, to a second box of mass M. So there is another mass here. So it must have a weight because of mass, which hangs freely as shown below. The system is at rest. So this system is at rest. Okay. This is important. Right. So let's write it down. It's at rest. Identify all the forces acting on the both mass, mass A and M. Okay. So you here you have how many objects? You have um two two objects, isn't it? Uh, two objects so that means you must have two free body diagram separately uh, you must have two separate two separate free body diagram for each of them uh, okay so now first of all we do uh, the mass yeah this mass m okay so what forces uh, okay, it is at rest huh? at rest so that means we can write over here uh, at rest that means velocity zero uh, acceleration also zero yeah velocity zero acceleration also zero so it is in equilibrium okay what we can say it is equilibrium so first of all look at mass m mass m so uh, what forces exist so first of all we draw a point mass at the center okay then draw all the force uh, outwards from yeah? draw all the force outwards from the point mass so okay it has the weight okay it has the weight uh we put as a uh yeah just put w okay uh w which is equal to mg yeah uh, w and then uh, it must have a tension in the string isn't it uh tension going upward uh, tension always away from object yeah always away from object uh okay that's it yeah uh uh yeah i think that's it and then uh, mass A, mass A must also has it, it has a mass A, so it, it must have a weight also. Yeah? First we draw a point mass, okay, and don't forget to draw the x and y axis. X axis must uh, be parallel to the surface. Okay, this is the x axis, and then the y axis must be perpendicular to the surface. Uh, this is the y axis perpendicular to the surface. So uh it has a mass a isn't it mass a so that means it must have uh the weight so it must have the weight uh so this is the w a we put as w a which is equal to mass a times g uh, mass a times g okay and it uh another thing is uh okay you see this mass a it is uh in contact with the surface isn't it in contact with the surface uh, so uh, it must have normal force and normal force must be perpendicular to the surface so uh, this is the normal force uh, yeah we put as normal force a okay uh, because normal force this one is only for a okay uh, just now this mass does not have any normal force because it is not in contact with the surface uh, not in contact with the surface okay and then what else what force do we have uh, this is a rough surface yeah a rough surface uh, must have friction, isn't it? Uh, it must have friction. So, but it is at rest, isn't it? It is at rest. So, uh, it, it is uh, at rest. So, it must have a, a static friction because it is not moving, not sliding. This block is not sliding over the surface. So, it must have a static friction. Okay, I must have a set static friction. Let me just put a, as a, a, another color. So uh, wait for a while. Uh, just um, let me check. Uh, uh, just a purple color. Okay. So it must have a static friction because uh, it's not moving. So uh, which direction is the static friction? What do you think? Ah, 
because you see this okay i forget the tension uh this block has a because it has a string isn't it it has a string uh, or do we call it a chord yeah it has a chord uh, it has a chord that means it must have tension yeah uh, this one uh, same string same tension so the tension experienced by mass a must be the same as the tension experienced by the mass m so uh, tension always going out of the object uh, away from object okay uh, so tension only pulls the yeah? string only pulls never pushes never push it only pulls never push so tension should be going upwards uh, tension should going upwards always draw the force from the point eh? don't draw the force uh, at other place uh, always draw the force from the point mass from the point mass so okay uh, this tension and this tension must be equal because same string same tension and all force must come out from the point mass yeah don't draw the force at other places yeah because now in this chapter we regard all the masses as only one point only only one point okay and then uh this is a rough surface isn't it uh, a rough surface um but this string is pulling to the this string is actually pulling to going upwards uh, so the friction should actually going downward yeah because uh, this this object is like dragging dragging uh, this one upwards yeah this one this object is like going down it's like going down uh, when this mass m going down it try to drag mass a going upward so um, try to drag mass a going upward but this is a rough surface try to he try to prevent the mass a from going up so to prevent the mass a from going up the friction should going down isn't it uh, the, fr the friction should going down ah the friction should going down so the friction this is a static friction because it's not moving okay so this uh block actually is being dragged upwards so the rough surface uh exert this frictional force yeah to prevent this block from going up to prevent this block from going up uh, so the friction should go down understand uh, friction should go down so um yeah uh another thing you should draw you see uh this is angle theta so this must be the angle theta also uh this must be the angle theta also yeah to know why it is then angle theta later i will tell you uh so what else what force do you have here uh, i think that's it yeah uh the tension weight uh this one has tension normal force friction because of rough surface and the weight downward you see the weight always going down no matter inclined surface or vertical yeah? the weight always going downwards uh, direct to the center of earth so to draw the uh the you know to draw the free boy diagram you need to draw uh you see this is the mass m so if you draw the free body diagram, only draw the point. Only draw the point. Uh, this is the tension. This is the this is the sorry. This is the weight W. Okay. Uh, step F. Two objects means you must have uh, two free body diagram. Okay. You must have two free body diagram. Uh, so this one is uh, okay. Uh, and A is going this way. Okay. Uh, yeah and a is going this way so uh yeah draw the axis first yeah draw the axis dotted line don't draw full line okay uh and then uh you know just uh, follow this one okay so tension is going upwards yeah tension going here uh friction down the surface uh the weight is this way i uh, this is weight a uh weight a and then don't forget uh put the angle theta uh, angle theta like that okay so this is the free boy diagram uh for these uh two objects okay uh the mass m only have two force the weight and the tension uh but for the mass m a you have uh four forces okay weight tension friction and normal force uh, uh you can write there uh acceleration zero uh, uh this one also acceleration 
zero. Uh, the velocity also zero. Uh, velocity zero. Okay, so that's it. Uh, this is the all the forces acting on the objects. All right.